All right, gang, uh, let's talk about Zotero and getting started. Um, following up from Doc Week, several people reached out and wanted to know a little more about Zotero uh, to help them get started with it, so here we go. Um, first thing you need to know is Zotero does work best on a standard um, laptop or desktop um, to get the full experience because you need the desktop version um, to do a lot of the work, but there is a extension for Chrome or other web browsers that the Zotero connector that helps a lot, but you really need the desktop version on um, either a Windows computer, or Mac, uh, a Linux, and there is an iOS version as well. So um, to get started there, you're going to go to Zotero.org and uh, download the application there. Now, I, of course, already have this downloaded. Um, the Zotero program itself is free to use. It doesn't cost anything for the program. Um, it's free. What you do have to pay for is the amount of stores that you have. Uh, the free version, you will end up, you'll go through that pretty quickly once you start storing um, articles and such in your Zotero library. Um, but it's fairly inexpensive to uh, upgrade. Let's see, click here. Uh, you can get two gigabytes for $20, um, six gigabytes for $60, or you can go all out $120 a year and get unlimited storage. Um, I don't know that you need unlimited, uh, but 300 megabytes, you will, you'll um, burn it pretty quickly. Um, you will need to create a Zotero account. Um, so you go through here and click register and fill it out. Username, email, password, such, and get that registered. Once you have everything set up, then uh, your Zotero library is going to look like, well, it's not going to look like this because mine is chock full. So let's take a look at my library right now. So here we go. Um, here is my library. And as you can see, I have a number of uh, folders here, and they are on every topic uh, imaginable, and I probably need to clean up some of these and make some more. Um, so you can um, right-click on library and do a new collection, and it will give you a title. And I'm just going to call this demo one, and that goes right into here. And so you can make as many of these folders as you like. Um, Yes, um, articles, citations can be in multiple folders. So everything exists in the library. So, but if I want this article here to be in that demo one, I can just drag it over here and ta-da, there it is. But it does not move it from my library. Uh, it also doesn't duplicate the citation. So um, here directly in Zotero, if you would like to add, um, a citation directly. Uh, you can click right here and start going through and type everything in manually. Or what is likely easier, and my preferred way of doing this, uh, is here you see the little magic wand. Uh, so we click right there and it asks for if you have the ISBN, if it's a book, DOI, if it's a journal article or journal section, uh, book section, and other um, IDs that you could use and paste into the library. Uh, you can paste those in and add it there. Um, Zotero is pretty good about finding those things. So um, that is a basic quick look at getting the Zotero application downloaded on your computer and starting up. Uh, it will ask you to sign in uh, every time, well, the first time you use it. Um, and this is what it will look like when you start adding um, references into your Zotero library. So in the next video, we're going to talk about, uh, I'll show you what it looks like to add a uh, reference directly in the app. Uh, but we'll also look at adding one from your web browser with the Zotero connector.